now that I have found a method of timeline that seems to be flowing, I'm really enjoying getting to reread the story and my zero draft is more amusing than I thought it would be, which I guess that's a good sign because that means that I will want to keep working on it. So yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying this process again. <laughs> and I know so far all you've seen is me putting in the story that I've already written, but I, I think that's a, I think this first one is the backbone of the rest. And I already have ideas for Tristan, as you probably saw, you could see that he was already assigned a fairy tale and it's just figuring out the rest and how those connect as well. So I will talk to you all later. It's the next day and I am looking forward to continuing on with my timeline. I hope, so really today is the big day to see if does this still work out for me. Yesterday everything was flowing well and I like being able to use the color, I'm very color oriented, but today really is can I keep that momentum up? And, you know, and possibly while I get the first story outlined out, it'll be okay. And then it's once I start adding the other elements to the other fairy tales and then layering them in. We shall see. So today's Sunday, I am going to end this week's vlog here. This has been a much better week for me. I feel like I've been progressing further and I'm really excited to continue. And it's nice that the story, I'm, as I'm reading it to find like the plot points for the timeline, I am engaged by it. I am interested in what's going on. I'm excited by it which makes me happy because then obviously I want to continue working on this story. But I hope the second week for NaNoWriMo has been, or for camp, I hope the second week for Camp NaNo has been great for all of you guys. Bye.